75 years ago, Japan surrendered to the Allies, which brought an end to World War II. Now, every year on September 2nd, Americans celebrate Victory Over Japan Day. Many of those involved in World War II live here, and they give us a glimpse of what it was like when the global war came to an end. In the Bay of Tokyo itself, the United And everybody was happy getting back to the States after the war was over. 93-year-old Dale Jardine remembers when the guns silenced and the global fighting ended in 1945. The final United Nations victory has been won. Jardine was only 18 when he served in the United States Navy, carrying out various administrative duties on ships. I was a navigator yeoman, so uh, when you keep track of where the ship is on the ocean, so many degrees this way and so many degrees that way. Jardine recalls being on a ship when news broke that Japan had surrendered. He was surrounded by 7,000 American soldiers who erupted in celebration. But they were throwing everything over the side saying, I don't need this anymore, I don't need this. But the victory over Japan couldn't have happened without the women on the home front. Everybody who worked in the defense factory, a female, they were all rosies. Barb Larson and many women worked in defense factories to deliver war supplies needed to defeat the enemy. The longer the war lasted and the more people that were gone, it was, um, it was scary because we kept thinking, who was going to go next? When the bloodshed finally came to a halt, men came back to their families, but Larson says many kept quiet. So we know very little about what they saw, but they said you don't want to know. Jardine, too, didn't say much about what he saw, but one thing is clear, he was glad to be home. Uh, so I was uh, delightfully surprised when, when it was over. About 300,000 World War II veterans are still alive today, many in their 90s. Pafu Yang, CCX News. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.